Welcome back to the Django testing series. Today we are going to be tackling our models. Like in the last episodes, we'll be starting out with a class called test, in this case models, which subclasses from test case. And in our setup method, let's instantiate one project. So let's say self.project1 is equal to project.objects.create. And we'll set the name equal to project space one. I'm doing this on purpose. You're going to see why in a minute. And the budget, let's set that to 10,000. So now at the top, again, like always, from Django.tests, we want to import test case. And from budget.models, we'll import project category and expense. Let's check out our models.py file. Inside of our safe method, we set self.slug equal to a slugified version of self.name. Therefore, we want to make sure that this mechanism is working correctly. Let's create a function called test project is assigned slug on creation. Quite a verbose name, but it basically says what the function is going to be doing. So self.assert equals that's self.project1.slug. Remember, the slug is created from the name, and therefore this method, of course, runs before every function, and the slug should have been basically set already, and that way we don't need any more setup code because it's going to be done by the save method. And the slug should be project-1, manage apply test budget, and it ran 11 tests. Let's try to mess it up. Okay, fine, it works. That's always important to check. The first method we are going to be testing is this budget left property. So let's test budget left. And we want to create a new category. Where we set the project equal to self.project1. Because our budget left is of course determined by how many expenses we've created and the amount of every expense, let's instantiate two expenses. Where we set the product to self.product1, then a title, the amount we're going to pick 1000, and the category as category 1. Remember that our budget for now only works with whole numbers or integers, and therefore this is going to be just fine. Let's create another expense just by copying this over. We're going to alter the title to expense two and the amount to 2000. And if we have two expenses, which amount to 3000, and we start off with a budget of 10,000, then we expect to have a budget of 7,000. And that's what we can assert. Self.assert equals self.product1 dot budget left is 7,000. Let's run it. The other method we want to be testing is the total transactions. For this one, it's very important that we filter by the correct project, otherwise we are not going to get the correct result. Actually, instead of length of expense list, we can return expense list or count. But yeah, just a little <laughs> beauty fix. So we can create a function called test project total transactions. As I said, we want to create a project two for this one, just to make sure that we fetch everything from the correct project. So we set the budget to 10,000 for this one too. Basically I can copy this over and the two expenses as well. Only that this one is going to be for project two instead of project one. So in that case, the only transaction we have for this project we want to test against is this one. And therefore the total transactions should be one. So let's self.assert equals self.project1.total transactions is equal to one. And this works again. And this doesn't work. 
and therefore we know that our tests run correctly. Okay. And yeah, that was our last method to test. To get absolute URL, that's probably not too mandatory to test for now, because it's hard-coded anyway, and we should notice when something goes wrong with it, but if you want to, then test it too. Just for this tutorial, I think it's a bit overboard. So yeah, make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it. Check out the Django tips guide if you haven't already by clicking the link in the description. I'll see you inside of the next one. Take care and cheers.